Everybody's very ready for their meal today. Now, Ebony is gone. I moved Ebony in with the lambs because it was so cold last night. She got moved yesterday. Yesterday or the day before? No, yesterday. She got moved yesterday. I moved her yesterday. And our water mains are now frozen, which means this is the only running water. It's that cold that the mains are still frozen and the sun is going down. So our mains are not buried deep enough coming up to us. In the 1970s, when they put the mains in, they only put it, I think it's about six inches, six to eight inches underneath the surface of the ground. So we've got a deep, deep frost at the moment, freezing the mains. All the air is looking well. And their hay bale is a lot less and I will be giving them a new bale of hay tomorrow. But today they are on their feed nuts and the last of their hay bale. Well, there's quite a bit to their hay bale left. So there's only 21 sheep in this flock because Ebony has now gone into the shed. All of them very happily munching. And lovely and woolly. Woolly and warm with expanding bellies which show that they are going to have lambs. Look at you, she's getting big. And just so you know, Inca and I are each other's hot water bottles. It's so cold. Inca is quite happily tucked into my coat. Isn't that right, Inca? Yeah, she's got a good view of everything high up. So there we are. And the flock is just finishing their meal. So I'm going to herd them down without Inca's help. <laughs> because she's in my coat staying warm. Freezy toes! <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on. Brendel, Brendel, leave it easy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, little bit. Come on. Everybody else is gone. Except for a little bit. Brendel, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Come on, little bit. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Go on, little bit. Atta girl. What I'm doing is just doing that. That's when you're hearing that noise. And look, see they're eating, drinking the water. So their sugar beet pulp, they have access to fresh water, which is very, very important. And that aquifer water just doesn't freeze, even when the mains do. So I'm very, very lucky I have access to underground water surfacing in this freezy, freezy weather. As you can see, she's drinking it, or she was, she's not now. But other sheep have gone up over there to drink it as well. It's when it's frosted or snowed that you can see the ribs of the hill. Basically the little paths the sheep have made across the side of the hill. The ribs of the land. The sun's going down. 
very very frosty cold 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 especially if our mains are frozen that means it's very cold lots of robins about the place looking for disturbed bits of soil for potential worms but I've got lots of fat balls and sunflowers and all kinds of things out for the birds <laughs> 